10 years. That's how long it's been since one of the most horrific police shootings in this country's history. November 2009, a man with a grudge against law enforcement walked into the Forza Coffee Shop in Lakewood and gunned down these four officers. At the time, nothing like this had happened in the U.S. It tore families apart, and it also brought people together. It renewed a sense of vigilance to policing that made the department and the people of Washington stronger. You used to be able to Google City of Lakewood and it would be cops, right? Because uh, they would always film here. Um, and now it's not known for that. Today, Pierce County's second largest city is thriving, but it will forever be scarred by what happened 10 years ago. On a Sunday morning, a convicted felon walked through the doors of this coffee shop and shot four officers to death. Chief Mike Zaro was assistant chief at the time and has been back here every anniversary. How did you bring yourself to do it? Well, the first time it was more about having a job to do. He agreed to sit down with us in the coffee shop. It's since been renamed Blue Steel, and its walls pay tribute to the officers killed that day. Absolutely no provocation. Um, it was akin to somebody walking in and, and setting off a bomb. On that day, we lost Sergeant Mark Renninger, Officer Greg Richards, Officer Tina Griswold, and Officer Ronald Owens. The day itself was bad enough. The weeks and months that followed were a complete fog. You know, there was no roadmap to it. Uh, we didn't know, you know we, we couldn't say, okay, you know, we just had four officers killed, here's, here's our next steps, here's, here's A, B, C, and D, because we, nobody had gone through that before. Administrative Assistant Joanna Nichols was doing some yard work that Sunday morning. Her phone just kept ringing. It was a friend from a different department. And when he told me that four of my officers had been shot, I, started a mental list of don't let it be. And after 100 officers, I realized, okay, well, it has to be four of them. Her support role in the department took on new meaning as coworkers leaned on each other. We were just trying to find a new normal. I, I knew them well. I mean, I've worked with them since the day that they started. Lieutenant Jeff Allwine was the first Lakewood officer on the scene. He's never talked about it publicly until now and sat with me for the first time at the Fallen Officer Memorial in front of the department. I felt um, like it wasn't real. It was not until after I walked out and realized that I needed to make some phone calls to the chief and the assistant chief, and, and I, I, I knew that I needed to activate things and get people moving because we were in a horrific, tragic event that was gonna require a ton of support first call that was to your wife? Yes. Krista, his rock of 25 years, in good times and in bad. Why? How? There was anger, there was fear, and that wasn't unreasonable given an act that defied reason, an act that put so much strain on so many families. He credits her resilience for keeping him on track, helping him find a path to healing. It is okay to admit that you're hurting and it is okay to seek professional help. And he did on the first anniversary of the shooting. Instead of gathering with other officers to remember the fallen four, he gathered the courage to ask for help. I don't think I recognized how difficult it was. I feel like I just went back to work. Like that was the best thing that I could do is just get back to work. I went through a period of time where I questioned whether or not I wanted to keep doing this job. But counseling was now part of the job. Routine maintenance, as he calls it, to keep his mind in check. Time has also helped, but it may never heal all the wounds here. I don't know that I have truly gotten over it, but Every day, every year that goes by, it, it gets a little easier. It is not in the forefront of my brain. When I started in 2010, it was a little bit more of a, 
a place where you, I mean, it was there. There were some 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 more dicey or or precarious, dangerous type calls. Not that those don't exist anymore, but the city is taking a, a turn for the better. Officer Keith Zuliger is part of the new guard here in Lakewood, still outnumbered two to one by the veteran faces on the department a decade ago. Zuliger was the first new officer hired on. But that had to be tough coming into a department with a fresh tragedy like that. Absolutely. It absolutely was. Where do I fit in, right? Where do I, where do I fit into this puzzle here? Because everybody here now has a story and I'm now an outsider coming into something. Well, sure, and you don't all, also, you don't want to be looked at as a replacement for one of the fallen officers. Very true. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I've never, I, I've always thought that, but I've never told anybody here that because that's, that's an absolute feeling internally, but. Uh, but they didn't treat you like that? Never, not one time. Instead, he says he was treated with the utmost respect. Factions within the department gave way to a new family. There were just these cliques of, of officers from wherever they came from. After the murders in 2009, we were the Lakewood Police Department. There's some people that, you know, you just haven't healed yet or haven't, haven't completely come to terms with it. Um, there's some people that that is still very much at the forefront of, of their motivation even to come to work. For those involved in this tragedy, life will never be the same. For them, it's about finding peace. I used to not be able to drive by the coffee shop at all. I would always avoid going that direction. I can drive by it now. I don't stop. No, I've, I've never been back. I don't need to.